in the great <laughs> I'll start with you, Ralph. My name is Ralph. I'm Rose's brother. I'm the only, I'm the only um, brother out of eight. That's why I have to deal with all of that. <laughs> so, and, um, and we grew up together. We all we grew up. Well, I was, um, I was called bad, but I wasn't really bad. I was just tedious. <laughs> and um, some of the stories like she was talking about about school and stuff. I remember. Yeah, I have to get this out. Because I remember when Rose skipped school that time when she was so bad, I remember one time I was, I was in, um, what, what was I, in second grade, and I was, um, I was sitting, I was out with like nutrition or something like that. And, and I just seen this commotion, and here was this teacher coming out, and this girl was beating up on her and stuff. She was beating, actually beating up on the teacher. And, um, and they took her to, and it was Rose. And they, <laughs> They, they took her to the office and everything, and then I think a week later, they moved her from the third, they, instead of going to the fourth grade, she went all the way up to the fifth grade. And I thought that I should do that. <laughs> so I started trying to get it. <laughs> actually, I actually did strike one of my teachers, just real bad, you know, and I cussed her out and everything. And um, in the summer after that, the lady called, my house and took me all the way to Minnesota. And she actually changed my whole outlook on how to act, you know, with people, you know. Because that was right around the time of Martin Luther King's death too. So I and she was a Caucasian lady and I kinda you know, I thought I had something against all of them. Yeah, we did that case. And that really straightened me out, really actually. You know. And then um I don't know I had to go there, you know. And um I don't know, and um, Rose always tell me that I'm smarter. I'm smarter than I think I am, but you know. Brilliant. You know, and when I try to um, push it on to my kids, this is my daughters, and I got sons. I got seven kids all together. So yeah, and we're all just struggling and trying to make it happen. You know? And I'm very happy to be here too. And I just have to add that Ralph and. His grandfather, Joe Bell, oh. shared the same birthday. Yeah, I was born, I was a, his, I was, I'm his only grandson out of 15, and I was born on his birthday. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Thank so, you. And he taught, and that's another reason why I'm not in a real bad predicament because of my grandfather, too. He kept, he kept the iron fist and the razor strap. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we had, and I, that kept me in line, too. Hey Amen. Good job. Thank you. And here is Lenise. Hi, I'm Lenise. I'm Ralph's daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Lenise. I won't torture you. And this is Tiana. Hi, I'm Tiana. I'm exactly the middle child of um, my dad's seven children. I'm about to turn 19 on the 17th, so. <laughs> She's at, going into her second year. Uh, Cal State LA. Good job. All right. <laughs> and this is Miss Shayla. Say hi. Hi. How old are you? Six. Okay, we'd have to get the dog over here to watch her come out. <laughs> She's loving the dog. Thank you, Shayla. All righty. Here we go. Come on. Camera's on you. Tell us your name. This is Shanae Watson. Tell us about who you are. I, I know it's so painful when <laughs> say it real fast so you can sit down. And I don't like vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Shanae Watson and Grand Grand is my grandmother and Gigi is my great grandmother. Okay. okay. Welcome, Shanae Watson. Miss yeah. Carol. Okay, I'm yeah. Carolyn Watson. I also say that her dad is Maurice Watson, which is Bobby Watson. I did son. not know that till just now. So, oh, like and I'm Carolyn Watson, and I'm married to Ivory Watson, which is Bobby Watson's son, and Athlete's great grandson. So. Thank you, Carolyn. I'm your grandson, excuse me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> These are our two guests here, Valerie and William Gill, the mother and father of our martial artist, Marquis Gill. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on over here. Okay. <laughs> Stand up. Hi. <laughs> I am Jasmine Crane, the daughter of Rosemary Allen and Don Allen. Um, my mother is Ralph's brother and <laughs> Ralph's sister and her mother is Annie Pearl, who is the daughter of Jesse B. Bell, who is the wife of Joe Bell. So that is how I am part of the Bell family. Hi. <laughs> and that's it. I live <laughs> I live in Colorado. Um I work here. I'm from here. I'm from LA, but from Colorado mostly cuz I grew up there. Isn't that strange? And I know. So, um I guess it is strange. I don't really like California that much. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think I would ever lose that. But it is nice having everyone here, family. It's good. It's interesting because when you don't grow up around it, it doesn't become as... I stop missing it until you get around it, and then you realize what you're missing, if that makes any sense. You know, you don't grow up around them. So, that's nice. Anyway, I'm sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of our guests, Miss Yasmin, who was Jasmine's roommate last year, and now they're striking out on their own. <laughs> I am uh, Don Allen, and I married, <laughs> I married, <laughs> I married into the, the Bell family by marrying uh, Rose. I've uh, been a part of the family for 20 years now. As a matter of fact, I met Rose um, the year that her, her grandfather passed. And uh, over the last 20 years, I feel like I've known uh, the Bell family very well. I'm all about Joe Bell. Uh, yes. You know? <laughs> and um, it's interesting that uh, he, uh, his birthday and, um, and uh, Ralph's birthday, my father's birthday, all the same day. So yeah. we're all tied together like that. What date is this? Uh, January 12th. Oh, so, so I've gotten to know the Bell family, Gady and Gloria, over the years, so I'm just happy to be uh, part of it. Thank you, honey. <laughs> okay. And these are our guests, Rose and Winston Nurse. I'm Winston. <laughs> this is Rose. I'm Rose. <laughs> and you've seen their work and you've heard all about them. And this is our musician who is not going to be able to play for us, but I'm so glad you got a chance to hear him Friday night because of the technical difficulties. Right. But we're so glad he's here. And um, I was thinking, uh, there's a song by Charlie Parker called Barbados. And um, <laughs> she actually reminded me. And I might be able to acapella. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Well, great. That would be wonderful. We'd love that. Good job. And this is his dad. This is Mr. Adrian. And he's still in one piece. Yeah. After Marquis. <laughs> Thank you. And now over here on the camera, we have um, yeah. uh, Ivory. Oh, me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ivory. Um, and I guess that's enough, huh? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm the son of Bobby Watson. This is my wonderful grandmother, Athalie. Met my wife Carolyn and my son Marquise, and my brothers Mark, I mean um, Maurice and Anthony couldn't make it. Um, and I know you grew up with Maurice and Anthony. Oh yes. I was a little bit older than the rest of you guys, mm -hmm. but I know you guys all hung out. And uh, you know, this is a wonderful family to belong to. You know, it's it's been a privilege. I mean, I've learned so much from so many of the people in the room and and other people that uh, are relatives that aren't here. But, uh, I mean, my mother and my grandmother, I could go on three weeks just talking about the things that I've learned from them over the years. And you know, these ladies made me what I am. Whatever it is that you might think I am, that's where it came from right there. Wow. You know, and I have the support of my beautiful wife and my wonderful son. And I, I promised I'd say something about this. My son <laughs> going to college! <laughs> yeah. 
people have been saying for the last couple of weeks, man, you just have this bounce in your step. What is it? My son's going to college! <laughs> That's wonderful. You can guess that I'm a little happy about it. <laughs> so, just in case there's any doubt, my son's going to college! <laughs> Right. Thank you, Maurice. And that's why. And what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> that is. And I wanted to win. Oh my. Right, right. Okay. I, oh, I'll go before I'm Gloria. So. And my grandfather is Joe Bell. And you've heard the lineage. And my mother is Annie Perry. And I am one of eight of her children. And um, it's so funny because I, I say all the time that I never thought I would outlive my grandfather because he always said he was going to kill me <laughs> because I was always in so much trouble. But again, just like Ivory said, it's just um, wonderful and awesome. It's just a blessing to have such a supportive, wonderful family. Thank you. Oh. I want it on Gloria first, but now I have her last. But you know, in every family, there is someone who holds it together. There's someone who says, we are a family, we're going to get together no matter what. And then she calls you to make sure you're doing exactly what you need to do. <laughs> but if it were not for her, we wouldn't have this reunion. I don't like thunder and lightning. <laughs> and, um, and I'm just thankful to you, Aunt Gloria, for pushing us and saying we need to get together because family is so important. And it's because of you that we continue to do this. So now it's your turn. Okay. I have the best of both worlds. I am a belle. Um, my grandmother was Uncle Joe's, Joe Bell's sister. And so that made me a belle. My mother was a Watson because my grandmother married a Watson and so that made me a Watson. So I am both Belle and Watson. Here's my lovely granddaughter, my daughter, my son-in-law, and, and the Lord blessed us with a, with a baby from the last time we had our family reunion who, who's entertaining everybody now. Miss Kennedy, I call her because she's ruling us now. And then my Great grandson Xavier, who's a dog baby. And then my husband, he really didn't want to say anything. I'm a Kenny Grew also. My husband is the oldest Kenny Grew, and he said, Oh no, oh no, don't call me. Because he's shy to that. He, he's in the background and he pushes everything in the background. And he had already told us where we were going to have the next family reunion and so forth. But I tell you, Rose, I have had a wonderful time. Don, Jasmine, you really pulled it off. And I said, you know, and I was coming here and I said, what else could they do? I mean, uh, the last time we had it, we had it here in Denver. And it was just wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful. Just wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking, I said, what, what can they do now? And when we got here, we've had a magnificent time. Mm -hmm. I mean, they real, it's better than before. And you know, for me, I could just stay here and stay here and never move it and just stay here because I love Denver and I've seen so much of it and everybody's just so wonderful. And to Rose's friends, I thank you for looking after my niece. I mean, every time she gets up to tell that story about how she was here and she didn't have any family, I tell you, I just want to cry. But I thank you for looking after my niece. You have. She just talks about all of you. And then I know that this is just a portion, but what I've seen is just wonderful and just beautiful. beautiful. And I hope for us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? And, and we always talk about Rose, and we use Rose as an example. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to call out names, but I want to tell Ralph, I am so glad to see you. That's my dog. And, I'm, and, and he's just wonderful with his children. Oh, I've watched yeah. him. Oh, yeah. He has beautiful children. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just a good father. Oh, but I want to say to Ralph, Ralph, when Rose was cutting up, she was always an A student. Yeah. Always. That's how she got boosted up right. to another grade. Even though her behavior was not <laughs> <laughs> And uh, just really aggressive, but always a good student. 
and she's made such a wonderful woman. She's mm -hmm. such a wonderful woman. Mm -hmm. A wonderful wife, first of all. She has and he says that's right, but he, she has a beautiful husband too. Oh, yeah. He kind of, you know, hangs back in the background, but I know that none of this would be, you know, she, it wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for Dunn. And then a beautiful daughter, Jasmine. Yes. Thank you. Wonderful son, Clarence. I mean, just a beautiful family. She has just, just come and just set down her roots. And I tell you, if anything, young people ought to look at her and want to pattern their life after this young lady right because she you. is beautiful. And I tell you, Rose, I cannot give you enough accolades because you are wonderful. And I just, I thank everybody for coming. And you're such a beautiful family, and I and I love my family. You see this lady here; she is wonderful, and I'm just a just happy that I'm a part of her family <laughs> as well as the Bell family. And I just I just thank God for all of you. And you just you don't know because I'm taking mother's place now. They say I talk too much every day, but I've taken her place because she's no look at it, pull it up. <laughs> because she's no longer with us. And somebody has to step up to the plate. Mm -hmm. And I know I can talk if I can't do nothing else. So I've stepped up to the plate and I'm trying to hold my family together. And sometimes it's so hard and like Rose and I talk and some of them are not here, but I just said to Rose, that's okay because what's meant to be will be. And I said, if there's nobody here but you and I, we gonna have a good time. And that's exactly what we've done. Well, thank you. Such a, uh, to get together, the older members of my family are dying off, mm -hmm. and we just lost uh, the oldest aunt that I have uh, recently. And when I see the few of you get together and to be a part of this, I feel so richly blessed personally mm -hmm. that I, I can at least be a part of a family that does come together. Mm -hmm. And I sincerely hope that. Uh, the younger ones will take what the older ones are doing and keep the tradition going because someday you will be called the great aunt, the great uncle, the great grandparent. And I, I marveled uh, on yesterday uh, on the sites that we went to uh, to see the Indian village. Uh, built on the side of a mountain mm -hmm. and to see that all of that was actually designed to cater and care for families. Mm -hmm. And mankind are human beings. We are unique. We're the highest of all things that God has created. Mm -hmm. We have the ability to teach our children what we learn. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we've gone from living in caves to living in 10, 20, 30 story buildings. And if this didn't continue, if this didn't continue, this wouldn't continue without a family. So cherish your family. Sometimes you don't get along, sometimes you don't see eye to eye, and sometimes you even talk about each other. But nonetheless, the bottom line should be the fact that we are family. Now, I say that to say this. It's one thing when you talk about each other as family, but it's another thing when somebody from the outside <laughs> has something right. to say about your family. Then, mm -hmm. then there should be a different, a totally different attitude. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 I, I want to commend you and encourage you to keep on. And, and uh, we see that we have the eldest down to the youngest. Mm -hmm present here today. So all that are, are in between that weren't able to come or, or some that maybe just wouldn't come, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that through the film here that they will see that it was so much to have that they have missed. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, we'll be able to cherish the memory along with you through film, through pictures say that I wished I could have been there and I couldn't. But I want to encourage you, the Bell Watson family, to keep on 
keep this tradition going on, start saving now for when the next time comes up. Yes. And uh, uh, don't let size be a hindrance to what you do as a family. God bless you. Thank you. Watson, stand up, Marky. All right. Um, <laughs> For the last uh, probably three, I think three um, family reunions after my grandmother passed, we started like a little club or a memorial for her, Eddie Mae Grigsby, in her name. And what we had been doing for the graduates, knowing that they, were, they had their college picked out and they were going to college, we were giving them a little token of appreciation. And I don't want to stop it now. The club, we haven't been meeting, but this is one of the members here, because she's with me all the time. And I have another one, and most of the time she's with me, but she's not here. And I didn't even get with them. But nevertheless, I don't want to do any different for you than I've done for the others. So I'm going to write you a check. It's just a little token of appreciation, and we want you to have it. And it's for the memorial of Eddie Mae Grisby. So I'll give it to you after the after the thing, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Like I said earlier, this is just going to take a minute. But like I said earlier, you know, I could come to Denver every time for the family reunion. But I want to save you because when I get so old and, and, and stuff that I can't, I can't make it. I'm old now, but that's okay about that. He would say old, you know, but that's okay. But when I get so old, you know, and, and, and can't do it, then I'm going to have to come here and just sit down and let's just let you handle it or the children or whatever. But I'm going to take it to California. Well, okay. Trina wanted right. it in Alabama. Well, she's not here and nobody said it. So. Okay. Do you want it? Because I told her I would bring it up. No, I don't really want to take it, but I, they asked me and they said, well, there was nobody else to take it. And I, I want to keep it going, so. Oh, it's going to keep going. If she, <laughs> if Trina wants it. Is everybody okay with that, Alabama? I've never been there. It's all right with me, I've never been there. But please tell her to start in time. Oh, I'm going to help her. Yeah. Cause Cause I, she's I, yeah, she's laughing, but you know what? We're behind schedule because it's been four years since we had a reunion. Yeah, we every two years. Every two, we're supposed to have them every two years, but we were kind of disappointed two years ago mm -hmm. right. because it wasn't started in time. So I don't want to say that we're going someplace and it doesn't happen mm -hmm. and then we fall apart. Yeah, we won't. So if Trina wants it, my other niece, and she's in Alabama, she was here the last one we had, so she couldn't be here due to sickness. So if she wants it, and if everybody, the family, if you're in agreement, we will go to Alabama. See, that takes the pressure off of me. I'm bored now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that okay? Yeah. Is that right. okay with the family? So 2000. <laughs> We want the friends too. We want the friends. We got friends. <laughs> okay. So 2008, we will go to Alabama. Alabama. But what I ask is, let us. What part of Alabama are we go? Birmingham. Birmingham, and it's beautiful. I've been there. But let me ask this of you: We want to take it back to July, the Definitely. end of July. We okay. don't, you know, because. Some people couldn't come because, because of August. August. Okay. So we usually have it the last weekend, I believe, yes. the last weekend in July. Right. So right. we're going to try to hold it. I'm sorry. You know that we're going to be hosting that 4th of July. Oh, that's right. The, the Anderson family. Well, you think that'll be well, that'll be around four. Okay. No, we're no, talking we're again. 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 the end. The last weekend right. in July. Is that okay? That's now? fine. And yeah. you know, you and have, only yeah. Katrina yeah. threw us off this year because of my convention. Okay, I yeah. understand. I understand. So, okay. You had to do it at your convenience, but yeah. so beautiful. I just love. Would you like to say anything while Tyler's getting ready? How about you? Huh? <laughs> All the young people, anyone, is when you find friends who can keep you grounded in Christ, who are your cheerleaders in the word. You found a beautiful, beautiful thing. And when I look at Rose and Winston and how much they encourage, because you're right, that was coming out not knowing anyone, but you can meet the wrong people. But I've met the, the nurses and the gills 
And we, one of the books we're all reading right now is The Power of the Praying Wife mm -hmm. and what that means. And we can encourage each other and we depend on each other. And young people, all of you, when you find friends, look for godly friends. Look for people who are going to encourage you to go on Christ because really, that's our purpose. And when you marry and you have children, find people who are going to cheer you on, cheer on your relationships, encourage your children because that's really what it's all about. So I thank all of you for being here before we all start crying. We're going to go ahead. The, the main course of the song, then I'm going to let that actually transcribe, the, which is listening to the music or writing it down, his solo for Barbados. So I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to play that along with the, after I play the course of the song. This is Barbados by Charlie. Barbados by Charlie Parker. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 